Hi there, welcome to SSL tutorial. In this video, we will see how SSL work and what is the flow of SSL using the help of Wireshark. So I have captured traffic over the wire and I'm just filtering out all the SSL traffic. So in filter, I'll type SSL and click apply. So it will bring all the SSL related protocols it will show what is happening over the wire. So let's start with. So SSL start with from the client to the server with the client hello message. In this client hello message, it will tell to the server which TLS version I'm using and what are the cipher suit I can support. Okay, so these are the cipher supports that are supported by the client. On reply to the client from the server, server will tell, okay, I have to say server hello. In this server hello, I have the following cipher suit TLS RSA with RC4 MD5 and I am presenting my certificate. So this is the server certificate is presented by the client and finally it will say server hello done. So server hello done message will come only when a client hello is happened. Okay. So in the second packet, it's only, uh, there is no client authentication is required. Okay, so if the server asks client to present its own certificate, then it will ask the client to present the certificate to the server. Okay. So once the client got the server certificate, server public key, what it has to do? it has to initiate a client key exchange. So in this process, a pre-master secret will be created. The this secret will be encrypted by the server public key. So both client and the server will generate a pre-master secret, pre-master secret and it will arrive finally with the key the key through which the packet to be encrypted so two things are here so only the actual encryption is happening over the symmetric key okay to arrive to a symmetric key both server and client are using public key cryptography to encrypt the messages okay so once the client has requested to the server with the pre-master secret and it will tell and will it will exchange the client will also exchange the cipher spec and finally it will send the handshake message encrypted handshake message so this encryption is happen over the public key that is sent by the server okay now the its server responsibility to generate a encrypted handshake message okay once once they arrive with the session key then finally the actual encryption is happening you can see all application data is encrypted okay so this encryption will happen over the tls session between the client and server and from the server to the client okay thanks for watching the video 
so this is a very short introduction to how SSS work if you have any queries or concern do let me know I will try to answer over the top